Sisters, I'm Sarah here. We are in our final week of our series called I'm Freaking Out. And as a little recap, I want to remind us that in our first week, we looked at scripturally where anxiety starts and how we can have God-centered foundation to overcome the anxiety in our lives. We learned about a sermon by a guy named Billy Graham that said anxiety is the natural result when our hopes are centered in anything short of God's will for our lives. And ultimately, we learned that we were created to do life with God, allow Him to provide for us, and focus on His will for our lives. We ended that week with the encouragement that we must surrender our lives fully to Christ and stop doing the jobs God was intended to do all along. Week two, with Nathan, we talked about surrendering our thoughts by talking about them with God in prayer. Think about things that bring you joy, and remember the God of peace is with you. And week three, this final week, we're going to be getting even more practical with some practical habits and resources that can help you. But to start out our time today, I want us to each imagine a really peaceful moment, like a perfectly peaceful moment. What is that for you? For me, it's usually, I imagine sitting like super far away after a long, long hike up in a high mountain next to an alpine lake. And I know it's really specific, but that's the type of vacations I go on with my family. So we'll hike miles out, we'll bring a little picnic, and we'll sit there, and all you can hear is the rustling of the breeze and the moving of water and literally nothing else. I'm completely unplugged. I don't have my phone. There's no expectations on me. And I'm with the people that I love the most. That is my peaceful, moment of perfection and we want that in life right that that peaceful settled unstressed calm feeling and then life comes in like a car crash like a fire alarm like a like a horn a fire a stampede right it's like it's like and then that's how life goes right but again we're gonna go back to this billy graham guy the guy that talked about in the beginning of the series, he has a few final suggestions for us for how we can actually experience that peaceful life instead of the explosion that life really feels like. Um, he suggests, you know, to be rid of anxiety, he has three different tips for us. He says, number one, stop seeking the trivial, transient things with which modern man has become obsessed. Seek first the kingdom. So he's saying, stop seeking and caring most about the things that are gonna change or go away. That's his first tip. His second tip is keep your eyes off of yourself and focus your eyes on Christ first and others second. That's convicting to me. And number three, he has the tip. He says, commit yourself fully to Christ. Don't be a half surrendered Christian like we talked about in our first week. So it's having that, that full hearted commitment. We see that example of full surrender with Jesus. He even says to his father, who, who he knows intimately and who intimately knows him, he says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So as we, as we get really practical about this series, as we personalize the series, I want you to reflect on these questions. What are you focusing on? What are you focusing on in your day-to-day -day life? That could have a big, effect on the anxiety and the nervousness and the stress that you feel. The next question that I want us to spend time reflecting on is, who are we trusting? Who are you trusting? If it's yourself, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> and that's pressure that God didn't want us to put on ourselves. And then the last question I want to think about is, how can we refocus on trusting God? How can we refocus on trusting God? Here's the deal, fam. Anxiety and worry will strike. There will be times where we feel like we're freaking out, but that doesn't have to be the end. With God and the reminders in scripture, we can have some amazing tools to overcome our anxious times. And to end this series, um, you're going to talk about some anxiety resources and practical habits in your group time. Your leader will have some, some calming exercises to think about, some scriptures about anxiousness, and a prayer for you to have when you're in a stressful moment. Um, and I'm going to have some resources for you guys to take with you. 
Um, there's many different calming exercises that you can try. Uh, there's the alphabet thankfulness game. There's reading scripture. There's praying. That is a calming exercise. Listening to worship music and drawing. Drawing is a calming exercise. There's a breathing exercise where you imagine a box and you, you breathe in four seconds while you think about the line going off the box and you hold your breath for four seconds as you think about the line going across the, the box and you exhale your breath for four seconds while you see the line going down the box and you hold it again. You keep doing that until your breathing is more consistent. So there's lots of exercises that you guys are gonna be kind of told about and encouraged to try. Also scriptures, like we said in the beginning of this whole series, the Lord knew we would need help with this. He knew we would have a tendency to stress or to put the pressure on ourselves to provide for ourselves and plan for ourselves. And so he included so much scripture to encourage us. So your leaders have a bunch of scriptures for you, a bunch of verses to read that talk about anxiety. And like I said, uh, the last thing they'll have for you guys is a prayer, a prayer that you can pray out. Because sometimes when you're anxious, you don't even know what to say or how to reach out or how to talk to God. So we have a prayer for you. My encouragement to you is to pick one thing and try it the next time you're having a freaking out moment. Uh, maybe even try one of the ideas with your group. For me, it's taken a long time to figure out what works for me in my anxious moments. Um, for example, that box breathing exercise, that really helps me. Um, also spending time in prayer is something that really helps me when I'm feeling anxious. And, and my, my prayer for this entire series, for all of you that are watching, is that you would know that the Lord cares about your anxiousness. And you would no longer try to be your own planner and provider because that's what God wants to be. And ultimately, you'd even have some really practical resources to try out for your anxious moments. And I'm excited for you guys to talk more about that with your group.